Hello friends, this is Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and today we are playing Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, as made evident by the giant load save screen, and of course the dumb bandicoot with pants. Well, I, I just assume he's dumb, look, he has that dumb look on his face, but who, who knows, maybe he's smarter than Einstein, they never really released his IQ level, and he can't really talk to tell about it, so... Anywho, so let's see, um, uh, I believe we were at Jungle Rumble? Yeah, we were, so why not just continue on with that? We were doing the time trial. Once again, there's already a good part of this level that's going to be time trialed by default. I mean, geez, you have to run away from rhinos. What do they expect you to do, casually stroll while rhinos chase you? But, oh, no, it's a time trial now. You gotta run away from the rhinos. We wouldn't want to get squished this time because it's so much more important. Well, I guess it is because, I mean, there is no, um, uh... Checkpoint is what I wanted to say. So, how are you guys? This is, um... Fresh. It is the 19th, apparently. I think it's Friday. Haha, <laughs> insert Rebecca Black stuff here. No, this is not something we do. So, yeah, and on this Friday, I, I'm pretty good. I was busy most of the day. I'm actually, I actually almost didn't record because I didn't feel like it for most of tonight. But then I was like, ah, eh, well, let's stop being lazy. And, uh, I don't know. So you're going to want to jump on that TNT there. That'll break the boxes for you without you having to spend all the time breaking them. And we're coming up on the Rhino part. Obvious. Well, I, as you can see, I'm not sure if it's that obvious, but the bonus level seems to be gone now. So yeah, the bonus level just disappears in the time trial for some reason because it doesn't want to hang out and watch us epic win. I don't remember what button you have to press to go faster on this thing. I hope it's A because I'm pressing A. Or I'm holding A, holding A right now, I should say. Like, you know, Mario Kart style. I don't think it's B. What the? Whoa, that was lucky. I... <laughs> wow. I could have sworn I was going to fall there. Whoa, okay. Apparently I have a... Uh, ooga, ooga, ba -dum -bum. So that's good. And by that, of course, I mean Aku Aku for those of you crash conservatives that are like, Dude, you got to say things right or don't say them at all. So fine, I'll say things wrong and right because that takes skills, right? Wrong. Right, wrong, right. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that. So yes, this is a pretty nice level. I was um, uh, I was doing a lot today, so yeah, it was a busy day for me. But let's not talk about that too much. Right now, you guys want to see some fail, right? I mean, win. But we kind of failed because we crashed into a tree. Silly bandicoot crashing into a tree. Rhinos weren't even chasing you right there, and yet you still crashed into a tree. You could have just stopped and braked, but no, you're you're. Well, for some reason, I hit that and I took like a break that I probably didn't have to take, and that might have. Nah, I think you need- yeah, you needed two minutes to get the, uh... Still, I got 30 minutes under the time you needed, I believe, and we still got a Sapphire rank. So that shows you just how much skill you have to have to get a Gold rank. And yeah, so, uh, that's pretty great. American Applesauce Association, because I'm too lazy to think of anything else. Man, I sure love Applesauce, don't I? I'm proud support of the organization, anyways. So yes, we got our Platinum Relic. Wow, did we even ever get a Gold Relic? I don't think we did. Jeez, you guys must be like doubting the fact- I, I swear to you, there is a Gold Relic somewhere hidden above the, ori above the horizon, yes. So anyway, Seashell Shenanigans. You know this level is going to be good because it has shenanigans in the name. But this is going to become a Seashell se 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 Seth Nanigan. Jeez, that, that just made it worse. Whatever. No, but I mean, try saying Seashell Seth Nanigans ten times fast. If you can do it, just you're, you're pretty great. Uh, I almost forgot that we had to get the boxes in this, because I mean, it's our first run. And I almost forgot to point out the obvious right now by going, Oh my god, we're in a scuba diving suit, and we seem to be underwater. Yes, we are! Don't friggin' underwater cactuses, I hate those things. I know they're supposed to be um, uh, mines, by the way, so don't comment saying, It's not a cactus, are you stupid? Cactuses don't have friggin' skull and crossbones drawn on them. What if they do? What if you just haven't been in the desert enough? Oh, that, that's that's something to think about, isn't it? But no, this is an underwater level. There's a ton of mine hazards. And what the f- Speak of mine hazards. Jeez, my, mind, mine, whatever. And yeah, so we are underwater. The controls, um, they're, they're basically pretty typical. Uh, I, I can't say they're not annoying. They follow the tradition of water level controls and being annoying. There's nothing over there, apparently, but there's a shark trying to eat us. There's a shark over there? Yes, Vector would be pleased to insert his little jokes here, but he has no place in my LPs. 
So, anywho, we're just gonna keep flippering our way. We have flippers, so that's good. At least we can kind of swim decently, even though we're a bandicoot. So, we have scuba deer and we. Scuba. Scuba deers. Yeah, scuba. Whoa! Friggin' things falling from the sky. Ugh, I hate those things. I really do. But, anyways, yeah, we have scuba gear. So, at least they're not just pretending that a bandicoot can swim forever for some reason. They, they, they kind of went into this. I guess Coco was being all like, you know, um, uh technological consultant because you know apparently we don't have an IQ of over Einstein because we needed Coco's help to tell us that hey you know you can't breathe underwater without scuba gear no anyways so uh, this is a hard level actually I'm not sure if I make it touch touch the top of the I almost feel like just I almost feel like Uga Uga but I'm bumming I mean like spinning into the TNTs and just wasting my mask because that's how annoying that was right there but yeah, this is actually a pretty hard level, but it's not so bad compared to some of the water levels in the future, yes. This game, uh, this game is probably what ruined water levels for me, to be perfectly honest. Like, everyone seems to hate water levels for some reason. A lot of people probably took it from the Water Temple in Majora's, uh, not Majora's Mask. Well, I don't know if Majora's Mask Water Temple is that bad, but, I, whoa, free, I did not even know that was a thing. Yes, these are the parts that I hate with a passion. These submarine parts, so... At some point, they think, let's just totally change the water level mechanics and just friggin' make things fall from the sky. That's not what they did. They've been doing that from the beginning, but they decided to put you in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. Yes, I know. They couldn't... It seems like every game I play likes to make a Beatles reference for some reason. Were they that influential on the gaming scene? Jeez. But anyways, so yes, we're in a yellow submarine. Hardy, har, har. Joke's overused. Get over it. And we have a mask right now, but that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say I may be being over careful right now, but geez. These submarine bits in this game, and you'll do this a lot, they're hell. Honestly, I hate them. These are what ruined water levels for me. It, I, I'm, I was always okay with the water temple in uh, Ocarina of Time there. That's the word I was trying to get. Uh, word. My game name. Jeez. Uh, yes. And the worst thing is, it's not so bad right now because I have Ugaga, but um bums helping me out. And I think you can drop. Yeah, you can press B to drop a bomb, or you can just press A to shoot a missile. But there was apples pointing down there. So you'd think there's a box, but no, it just made me waste my time and be all careful. That's the thing. And a lot of times you're just going fast, speeding the level through, like minding your own business. Then one of them water cactuses tries to fall on your head. And the worst thing about this is that. You try to turn back, because, you know, that that seems the logical thing to do, okay, turn back to avoid it. But you actually have to keep going straight, and it's just against human nature to just do that. And as a result of this, you always end up getting hit, because the, the submarine turns, like, really slow. You have to literally turn the whole way. You have to do, like, a 180. It doesn't just, like, let you move backwards or fire the forward thrusters or some crap like that. Nope, you have to just do the whole thing manually. And that's probably that's probably the worst thing about this. There are a lot of things that annoy me about this, though. Particularly in the later levels of this. That guy included. You annoy me, go die. I'm gonna shoot you a miss- shoot you a missile, yes. This can be annoying. I forget how you're supposed to do this, but I guess it's always a good thing to hit this. I mean, why not? I think you're gonna want to make all the boxes you can possibly make appear, appear. So, you're gonna want to hit these two exclamation mark boxes. Uh, okay, there are free lives right there, so why not? I'm just gonna get those real quick, but what you need to do is... First of all, hit these ones first. Don't destroy those, uh, nitros yet. Over there. Hit these nitros first. That'll make those boxes appear. And then hit these nitros. It... You just have to make sure you can break those boxes there. So that's why you have to do it in an order. So if you're not going for the Boxing Day Diamond, it's not a huge deal if you mess it up. But you don't want to mess it up. That's what I'm trying to say. So, uh... Yeah, and just do that. Oh, one other thing about the submarines, though, that's kind of cool, is you can actually... Okay. So, apparently, by just shooting a missile into a crystal... Like, that's not what I was going to say was cool, but... Yes, by shooting missile into a crystal, which incidentally rhymes, you get the crystal somehow. So, no, it, the crystal doesn't break or anything. It just goes, Oh my god, I've been shot with a missile. You now own me because I have... I, I don't know, tr I don't even know what those crystals are thinking. I don't even know how a crystal can think, but apparently they can. So yeah, you also get that if you shoot an enemy into a crystal, which I've always found really weird. 
if you shoot the enemy into the crystal by like spinning into it because you actually shoot the enemy forward by spinning into it and if you shoot an enemy into something you claim that thing by shooting the enemy into it i never understood that so like if the enemy gets i guess it's like a spoils of war type thing you know the enemy owns the crystal so uh you're just you you kill the enemy and incidentally he owns the crystal even though he's dead once he takes ownership of the crystal and then you go well this is my spoils of war i'm gonna grab the crystal I think I'm gonna do it for this episode. I could have done more, guys, but honestly, it's... Well, we, we did that dumb water level that I hate, and, you know, we have, we're have we 21% done the game. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm just gonna end it off here, and in the next episode of Crash Bandicoot, we will obviously... I'm not looking forward to any kind of time trial with that friggin' yellow submarine. Yes, yellow submarines and time trials do not mix... And with any misfortune on my part, you guys are going to get quite the fail episode in the next episode. That's why I'm taking a break from it for now. So in the next episode, look forward to that, and stuff will happen. Yeah. Oh, snap.